top of mind for Valley educators tonight. ABC 15's Brian Webb is going in depth on this. And uh, Brian, what kind of uh, moves are they making? Well, you know, scenes like the one we just saw at schools across America that moved a Valley karate expert to want to do something and teaching teachers how to self-protect themselves seemed like a good move. Cake, we turn with our hips. You're watching We're teachers learning the art of self-defense. And bring that arm back as far as you can. I've always thought I knew how to defend myself, but now I'm learning some techniques that I think will really help. Principal Kelly Brenner signed up for the free five-week course and step-by-step -step is learning self-defense 101, known around here as stun and run. Simple, basic, quick self-defense techniques that will allow them to gain a little space and get to safety. As I strike, karate expert David Hayes is the brains and brawn behind these classes. He came up with the idea after seeing several tragedies at America's schools. If an individual can protect themselves a little better or as a group know what to do in a tough situation, it just makes us all safer as a community. And even though a few karate chops can't stop a speeding bullet, knowing a few moves never hurt anyone, except maybe the bad guy. There you go, and then strike. In all honesty, we do have to do whatever we can to protect ourselves so that we are available to protect others. The lesson here, teachers can't protect their students if they can't protect themselves. There you go, good. Now, police will be part of these classes, too, teaching them when it's best to run, hide, or to fight back. And, Steve, other Valley teachers have already signed up for future classes.